sifts through the trash collected today by Jamila, a waste picker in the Seemapuri colony of East Delhi, you'll find thermocol waste in the mix. A material she specifically avoided even five years ago. Five years ago, it didn't work. It was dirty. It was dirty. It was dirty. It was dirty. Now, when it was dirty, it was dirty. 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 तो फायदा है हम लोग भी बेच देते साठ रुपए करके सर्विस लेते हमारे तो हमारा भी फायदा है इट मेड फाइनेंशियल सेंस टू कलेक्ट थर्मोकॉल वेस्ट फॉर वेस्ट पिकर्स लाइक जमीला वेन इन 2014 अ थर्मोकॉल रिसाइक्लिंग फैक्ट्री केम अप एट किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम अर लोकैलिटी द फर्स्ट ऑथराइज प्लांट इन डेली एन सी आर एंड अमंग द फर्स्ट इन द कंट्री तीन चार सौ रुपये मिल जाता है हम लोगों को दो जाल भेजते हैं तो उसमें मिल जाता है वैसे कि थोड़ा ढेर लग जाता है इसलिए जाल बना के हम लोग जल्दी जल्दी भेज देते हैं टाइम नहीं लगाते रोज का रोज आ जाता है रोज का रोज चला जाता है हमारा Thermocol or expanded polystyrene is a type of plastic that is widely used as protective packaging for electronics and fragile items. Most waste pickers in India usually avoid collecting it because it is lightweight and high in volume, fetching a lower price per kilogram. It also takes up a lot of space for storage and transportation. The result: thermocol getting dumped in landfills or causing marine pollution or clogging drains and causing flooding. It is also often burnt, releasing toxic styrene and benzene vapors. In an attempt to close this gap, Sanyam Jain started Thermo Waste Solutions in 2014. By establishing a network of 50 waste pickers across the 22 km stretch of Ghaziabad and East Delhi, Thermo Waste Solutions is among a handful of thermocol recycling plants in the country that is bringing in a system to recycle this waste. We uh, are working with around 50 or more uh, rack pickers. and our network is spread between yamuna river and hindan river so you know a big network is working it's a entirely informal network but a very efficient one so they collect thermocol on daily basis creating a network of waste pickers incentivized for thermocol collection has also helped jain collaborate with manufacturing and packaging companies companies that are mandated under extended producer responsibility or epr to scientifically dispose of the thermocol they've used So thermocol is also a plastic only. So there are two types of plastic: thermoset and thermoplast plastic. It is also a thermoplast only, and it's a plastic. It comes under the EPR guidelines, which is Extended Producer Responsibility. So according to that, all brand owners and manufacturers who are using thermocol as a packaging, it is their duty to facilitate in the recycling of the plastic that they are using in the manufacturing. So it is also covered under that. We are working with brands. who are using thermocol as their packaging and we are collecting it we are re uh, recycling it and giving them the credits and in return they are uh, helping us in branding they are helping us financially also to make sure that uh, more and more thermocol is recycled Thermo Waste Solutions has so far recycled 180000 kilos of thermocol waste which when stacked together they say is equivalent to a pile that is 4 lakh 11000 meters high about 45 times the height of mount everest this is a shred of where the plant was some of all put inside and turned into small pieces and then from this it comes to this hopper and here the shredded some of all go through a mechanical recycling process so in this there is a barrel there is a screw going on and electric heaters are there it comes out in the melted form and from there it goes into another barrel having another layer of screw and a heating system then it then that melted material goes through a filter which converted into uh, wires wires of plastic these wires are finally turned into polystyrene granules that are used along with virgin plastic to make photo frames and bangles According to an analysis carried out by the company, this stockpile of recycled thermocol is still minuscule compared to the recycling potential that exists. 
indicative of a poor collection system and dismal awareness of its recyclable properties in the consumer market. One challenge is misconception, uh, which leads to not uh, segregation. The segregation is being not done. People are just dumping it because they feel any weight is not going to recycle because it, they, uh, layman believes that thermocol is not recyclable at all. India generates roughly 1 million tons of thermocol waste every year. Of this, barely 2% gets recycled. Even with a recent ban on single-use plastic that includes only specific thermocol items like cutlery, the need to bring down consumption is vital. The product is completely biodegradable. 30 year old Arpit Dhupar is a mechanical engineer in Delhi. His startup, Dharaksha Eco Solutions, has developed a packaging alternative for thermocol. Made from crop stubble waste and mushrooms, the product is chemical free and 100% biodegradable. What we are doing here is that you know we've uh, fine tuned a mushroom strain, we've trained it to eat a certain source of carbon as its raw material, carbon as its food. And the beauty about mushrooms is that they are the only organisms that can break down the lignin component. Now lignin is what makes the biodegradability of this material tough or long. So paddy straw waste by itself would take a very long time to degrade in, in soil. Uh, but this mushroom can degrade this lignin very fast. And while doing so, it gives it enough strength and rigidity. The first step, crop stubble is shredded and put in a mixer. We add a spores of the mushroom that we have created. These are billions and billions of spores of the, uh, of the mushroom strain. Each spore would then finally germinate into a mycelium of its own. Arpit's innovation is trying to kill two birds with one stone give the market an alternative to thermocol and also help mitigate stubble burning. Through the process of biofabrication, the technique of growing a product from living cells, the mixture of mushrooms and crop residue gets transformed into molds to be baked and made ready to use. This is the place where this mushroom covers this entire bag and grows. This is the nature at its finest. Uh, where all these bags are ready to be used, to be transferred into molds. I am scanning the mold of the number of the oven. I am scanning 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 the oven. This mycelium packaging is supposed to fare better than conventional thermocol when it comes to cushioning and strength. It is also moisture and flame proof. But the price point may vary from 10 to 30 percent higher or 10 to 30 percent lower than conventional thermocol depending on client specification. Noida-based The Gourmet Jar sells natural condiments like sauces, dips and preserves that need to be stored in glass jars, which are often at risk of breakage while handling. What is the production of Anjwaz? How many bottles are there? Founder Apeksha Jain explains how switching to mycelium molds, though expensive, has helped her compensate for breakage losses. We shifted to the Raksha's uh, ecological packaging and that has kind of given us the protection that we need along with being sustainable. And it's working for us and our damages are very, very low, uh, less than half a percent, like even probably like 0.2 or 0.3 percent. Luckily, of course, cost is a major factor for any business and uh, thankfully, you know, uh, we've been able to get it at a very, very uh, comparative price. The reason also that we shifted was because uh, we do get customers who complain about the th amount of thermocol that we use or if we are using a lot of bubble wrap. Right now, uh, thermocol, of course, they also find a, you know, it's a problem how to dispose thermocol. But now with this one, because it's ecological, it's sustainable and you can just put it in your soil, so it becomes easier for them to get rid of it as well. So far, Tharaksha Eco Solutions claims to have prevented about 20,000 square feet of thermocol waste from going into the landfill. 
and 250 acres of farmland from burning stubble. Although the slow process of growing mycelium continues to be a big challenge, Arpit has his work cut out for him. Currently, we uh, made this production unit and we are uh, consuming approximately uh, 10 tons of crop stubble waste a month. Uh, but we've taken this newer space which would uh, help us uh, increase the production capacity by over 10 times. Uh, so taking our overall production capacity to 100 to 150 tons a month. Even as Dhadaksha Eco Solutions is currently testing their mycelium product for marine degradability, Thermocol recycler tell us how it is going to take a long time and public will to sustainably tackle thermocol waste. One thing that we've been, uh, you know, talking a lot about is that we need uh, a concession on the indirect tax, or at least, you know, there should be a difference between uh, the GST being levied on virgin plastic and on recycled plastic. There's a need of education. People need to be sensitized about thermocol. They need to understand that if segregated, it can be recycled. So if more and more municipalities work on that, more and more companies which are using thermocol as pa packaging, they need to educate their customers that how to dispose it of, how they can find a recycler in the vicinity and send it to them. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.